नमस्कार आपण पाहत आहात इन गोवा चोवीस तास सुरुवातीला पाहूया गोवा मुक्ती दिनाच्या पूर्वसंध्येला राज्यपाल श्रीधरन पिल्ले यांनी दिलेला गोमंतकीयांना संदेश माय डिअर फेलो सिटीझन नमस्कार टू ऑल ऑन दिस ग्लोरियस डे इन नाईन्टीन सिक्स्टी वन द लास्ट पॉर्च्युगीज गव्हर्नर जनरल सरंडेड टू द विक्टोरियस इंडियन आर्म फोर्सेस पॅविंग द वे फॉर फ्रीडम of Goa from the shackles of Portuguese rule. This day, this year is also memorable as Goa completes the milestone of 61 years of liberation. I feel proud to join this historic occasion of celebrating the momentous day of Goa's liberation. on this land of mark day i extend my warm greetings and best wishes to the people of goa the journey to freedom was long and arduous freedom fighters from goa and outside india and of course other parts of india underwent numerous sufferings and sacrifices in the struggle for emancipation it is only appropriate that on this historic day we salute the brave and valiant soldiers as well as the spirited and selfless freedom fighters let us also pay homage to all those great souls who laid down their valuable life for the freedom of goa and dedicated themselves for the cause of the nation i would like to quote kavi bakibab borker who said quote the taker majje jalati meaning my hands fold in deep reverence to all those who sacrifice for their motherland goa boasts of unique identity that the people of goa have collectively striven to preserve and protect in the post liberation period in the face of various challenges the 1967 opinion poll confirmed the special identity of goa the emergence of statehood in 1987 is a milestone in the journey to maintain its distinct heritage the inclusion of Kongani in the 8th schedule of our Indian constitution further cemented the individuality of this great state. I compliment all leaders and people of Goa for having fought hard to preserve and protect this exclusive identity. Goa is great not just because of its majestic origin grand old churches and magnificent temples goa is great because of its happy peace loving and the industrious people who have contributed in large measure to different walks of life such as art literature music architecture tourism science and technology and public life the tourism sector is one of the main drivers of the goan economy goa is renowned world over as a top tourist destination goa is endowed with rich flora and fauna besides the state has a vibrant culture and heritage further the people of goa are friendly and peace loving different communities in goa have existed in complete harmony this combined with goa's extraordinary beauty has made it a world famous tourist destination the the honorable prime minister of india sri narendra modi ji inaugurated the first phase of the international airport at mopa in goa and also virtually inaugurated the all india institute of ayurveda on 11 december 
2022. The airport at Nopa in North Goa being built at the cost of rupees 2,870 crores. The Nopa airport is a second facility in the state in addition to the existing airport at the Bodhi. The airport have the capacity to handle 44 lakh passengers per annum in the first phase and it will go up to 1 crore passengers per annum after the completion of the entire project. The Dabolim airport does not have the facility for cargo transportation. However, the Mopa airport have the facility of cargo transportation. On 30th August 2022, on the occasion of the 75th year of independence, I mean Asadika Amruta Mahol so, I had announced one more scheme of financial assistance from Governor's Fund to cancer patients and diabetic patients for the people of Goa in contribution to a scheme of financial assistance from the Governor's Fund to 71 social service NGOs, I mean old age, child care, shelter homes, orphanages and for 71 patients undergoing dialysis treatment. Till date, total amount of rupees 2.75 crores has been displaced to 91 institutions and 1005 dialysis, cancer and other patients who have benefited from the scheme of Sedanus 71 which was the initial target. On 17th September 2021, on the occasion of 71st birthday of Honorable Prime Minister of Sri Narendra Modi Ji, Goa Raj Bhavan introduced two schemes that is Jack Food Garden and Medicinal Garden and now so many tourists are visiting those places. On 17th September 2022, on the occasion of 72nd birthday of Honorable Prime Minister Sri Narendra Modi Ji, Raj Bhavan has undertaken its mission with the vision to expand new endeavors that would attract tourists in, to Raj Bhavan. A Goshala of 20 indigenous cows of Goa was established to protect, shelter and promote this local indigenous cows known as Sweta Kabila and Vaman Kala Udyan or Bonsai in modern terminology is commissioned on the lawns of Rajbhavan by way of 72 portrait trees. This art had originated from India and the same went to China and Japan through Buddhist monks and Prajaraks of Buddha community. This newly commissioned garden first of its kind in Goa and we expect to expand it as the best in India. In my Goa Samburna Yatra, I undertook a well-being tour of villages in the state. During these 16 months, I have travelled the length and breadth of the state, transversing thousands of kilometers and covering 421 villages and 191 village panchayats in 12 talukas of uh, different districts of Goa. During these visits, I visited the temples, churches, seminaries, mosques, and Gurdwara and many historical places of interest of the tourists and interacted with about 1500 village panchayat sarpanchas and village panchayat members. On this momentous day, while recalling the memory of all these, these great people who gave us freedom, I appeal to the people of Goa to rededicate themselves 
to shaping a bright and better future for our country and state. Thank you very much. Jai Hind.